Okay, I'm ready. Aunt Ella, what was thank a, a typical Thanksgiving day like when you were 10 years old in Forsyth, Georgia, with you and your family? When I was in Forsyth, Georgia, it was all of us living at 10 years old. And we all sat around the table with pretty nearly the same food, except we did our own food. We planted it, we cultivated it, and we ate it for Thanksgiving. We had our own collard greens, our own sweet potatoes, uh, mm -hmm. fresh from the ground. Mm -hmm. Right from the ground. Mm -hmm. We did it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you have an actual turkey didn't do the guy with you all have turkey? Have a turkey? You yes, didn't, we, didn't had turkey. Turkey. we had turkey. We had turkey from my grandma Cheney. Uh, my grandma Cheney had turkeys, geese, guineas. Yep, I've heard of them. I heard yeah. guineas. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> like a corner tent. My right. grandmother Cheney, my father's mother, she had practically everything. She had pecan orchards, she had walnut orchards, she had pear orchards, she had a farm. Mm. So we lived in the house with my grandma Cheney, but that's my father's mother. They had, uh, I couldn't walk the distance they had mm -hmm. of plantation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had whatever they wanted. My my grandfather was one of the big men in Forsyth, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so he had 12 sons, wow. and each son was named John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my father was the youngest. One of the twelve. Well, I, I wonder how that wheel really is. <laughs> well, we thought George Foreman had a lock on that. John, 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 John. Remember, George yeah, Foreman did that. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. But he wasn't the first. You just learned name. something. Right. <laughs> John was the first. It was John Melvin. John, John, that's right. George, 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 Two girls, but I never knew they died as babies, mm -hmm. the girls, mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the ten was boys, wow. yeah, all boys. And they all had big families. So that was my the, father was, it could be keeping them barefoot and pregnant. Seven, then. <laughs> the rest of them had eight, four, and they all graduated. They were very, very big in education. Mm -hmm. And in my... Hmm. My family, my mother, I was the only one that stayed in school and graduated. Well, where she pulled up, I knew she was driving. Okay, <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, she, she saw out of that parking spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So what else you want me to say about them changes? Oh, they you were one of how many? How many children? Seven. 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 And you're number three. I was... Diva Ruth, John Quincy, Quinn, uh, you told you, you Jenny, and then Oh, okay. And then Connie and Ruby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you um, happy okay. when it was time to uh, leave for Scythe? Not uh, that it was time, but the, the mere fact that you left um, for Scythe, Georgia to, to move north for a better job prospects. Did that what? make you happy to leave there, or you wanted to stay? No, I left because of your mother. Hmm. Your mother, uh, she would, every time she called my mother and your grandmother, she would complain that she didn't feel good, her stomach or her back or her side. Something. So my mother gave me a choice. You could go on to college or you can go and take care of your sister. I chose to come and take care of my sister. Hmm. And that's why I never went to college. I could have gone to college without paying a penny. Mm -hmm. the, 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 what is it, the dean of the college come to my mother's house, begged me, mm -hmm. don't let this opportunity pass you. Said, we don't get this every day. Mm -hmm. But I said, I don't get her older sister every day. Mm -hmm. And I come to stay with my sister and help my sister. And <laughs> the funny thing was, when I come to Jersey to stay with my sister, which was Melba's mother. My sister told me, I got there on a Wednesday. <laughs> on a Saturday, she said to me, don't forget, 
I didn't bring you, I didn't send for you to come here to, to take care of me. I sent you here to get a job so you can help me with my mother. Mm. I said, you didn't even send for me. I come on my own. Mm. I worked, made my fare, come to Jersey with my brother who was visiting me and my sisters on a furlough. And he said, if you want to go back, you can go back with me, you know, if you got your fare. Mm. So I said, I'll have my fare. And I worked, and I saved my fare, and I come back with my brother. Wow. Yeah. So, and I wanted to take it as my sister said, no, no, no. No, I, I'm doing all right on my own. You get out and get yourself a job. Where were you living then? In what um, was Summer house? Street. Oh, two four. Okay. Two thirty six. What? One thirty six Summer Street. Oh, I thought it was two forty three. Two forty eight. Two forty eight Summer Street in the state. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I worked. I was one of the first. Come on. Granddaughter probably wanted my grandma. Thank you. Yeah, them grandchildren, they're pretty strict. Mm -hmm. Especially her. Mm -hmm. Them grandmothers. She she's the mother. Yeah. <laughs> well, where that's, are you all at now? That's my... <laughs> yeah, so, you know, know like, I could have wrote a book on my life, but Melba is right here. Brenda Adams. She is at my house. Right here. No, okay, yeah. well, let's finish the main food. 